What's there not to like? What's the problem? I thought you wanted to be freed from your parents! Miraculous Ladybug is a series with a plethora of interesting superpowers. One of the most vexing in the series comes from the Peacock Miraculous, which has been in the possession of Hawk Moth for the majority of the series. The Peacock's power is one of the strongest within the Miracle Box because it grants the wielder the ability to create sentient life. These sentient beings are called Sentimonsters, who will obey anyone who is in possession of their amok. To the fans of Miraculous Ladybug, it is a popular theory that both Adrian Agreste and his cousin Felix are actually Sentimonsters who are created by Adrian's mother, Emily. As the series progresses, the hints leading to this theory being true seem to become more convincing. In this video, we're going to be going over some of the evidence that points to this theory potentially being true. This Kwame Buster village, she's from Francois Dupont High School, right? Don't forget the rules, Cat Noir. We can't know each other's secret identity. Number 10. Gabriel Possesses the Peacock Miraculous The first time the series shows the Peacock Miraculous in Gabriel's possession is in the episode Volpina. A copy of the Miraculous can be seen in his safe as if it's nothing more than a common accessory. Master Fu reveals that he lost the Peacock Miraculous many years ago, and it's implied that Gabriel and his wife Emily found the magical jewel at the same time they found the Butterfly Miraculous. Since Gabriel has been in possession of the Peacock Miraculous for many years, it makes sense that he or Emily could have created their own Sentimonsters. In doing so, however, they would have been using a broken Miraculous, which could have disastrous consequences. In wielding the cracked Peacock Miraculous, Emily could have fallen ill enough to enter her permanent sleep seen in the series. Oh sure! I remember our instant connection when I saved your life, and we've been really good friends ever since, practically BFFs. Number 9. Natalie and Emily seem to have the same illness. When the series begins, Emily Agreste has already been missing for a year. Prior to her disappearance, however, it is revealed that she became very ill. Although the cause of her illness is never mentioned, Adrian expresses concern that Natalie is experiencing many of the same symptoms. In the episode Ladybug, Natalie is unable to remain transformed for long due to her health issues becoming a prolonged concern that is impacting her daily. Throughout Season 4, Natalie is revealed to have become weaker due to her prolonged use of the Peacock Miraculous, and she becomes dependent on robotic leg braces to help her walk. If Natalie and Emily do in fact have the same debilitating illnesses, that then proves that Emily was the previous holder of the Peacock Miraculous. I don't care, Gabriel. I want to help you. Not at that cost. Never at that cost again. Number 8. Felix and Adrian look like twins Although Emily and her sister Amelie are twins, it's still odd that their sons Adrian and Felix look exactly alike. The two share a striking resemblance despite having different parents and appear to only take after their mothers in appearance. Their similar appearances are so uncanny, in fact, that they can pretend to be one another without anyone noticing. Felix's capabilities to fool even Marinette can be seen more than once throughout the series, as she believes him to be Adrian in multiple episodes from his first appearance in Felix to his recent appearance in the fifth season's episode, Emotion. Their similar appearances have been brushed off as being family-related, but it would make more sense if they happened to be Sentimonsters created at the same time. Uh, you're not Adrian. Felix, where's Adrian? What did you do to him? Do yeah! Number 7. Felix Steals Back His Family Heirlooms A Sentimonster can't be created without an amok, from the Peacock Miraculous being imbued into an item. This item allows anyone who owns it to control the Sentimonster, despite them being their own sentient beings. When Felix makes his first appearance in the series, he takes an immediate interest in the wedding rings that Gabriel keeps for himself and Emily. The rings are heirlooms to the Graham de Vanelli family, and while his mother, Amelie, expresses interest in wanting one of them back, Felix goes out of his way to make a copy of the ring to steal the real one from his uncle Gabriel. If Felix suspected that he was a Sentimonster, he may desire to obtain his amok in order to have free will. And how do you intend to stop me? By now the whole world's been bathed in the light of the Red Moon. You don't know what object controls my Sentimonster or where it is! Number 6. Adrian does everything his father tells him. Adrian has always lived a sheltered life, and throughout the series, he can be seen obeying every order that his father gives him. This blind obedience often irritates his cousin and his friends, but Adrian can rarely be persuaded to disobey any of his father's rules. In the episode Wishmaker, he even expresses that he doesn't have a childhood dream 
or a desired career in the future because he'd only ever been what his parents wanted him to be. This lack of disobedience, even for his own good, could be due to his existence as a Sentimonster. Despite being their own living being, Sentimonsters must always obey the orders of those who hold their amok. In Adrian's case, that person could be his father. Why don't we start by visiting the food trade booths? Come on, Plague, it's time to think about our future. Number five, the close-ups on Gabriel's wedding ring. In the later seasons of Miraculous Ladybug, the series begins to put more emphasis on the wedding ring that Gabriel wears. The camera tends to pan in when he is giving Adrian an order and shows as he twists the ring on his finger. An example of this can be seen in the episode Protection, when Gabriel forbids Adrian from pursuing a relationship with Marinette. While Gabriel may be fidgeting with his wedding ring because he's thinking of his wife, it could also be the item that is holding Adrian's amok as a sentimonster. While nothing has been confirmed in the series, it's one small detail that keeps fans guessing. Looks like your doubts are finally gone. Yes, Kagami, I'm ready. Number 4. Natalie is able to give Adrian a contradictory order. In the same episode, Protection, Adrian can be seen denying his father's wishes for the first time. After Gabriel expresses unhappiness with the relationship growing between Adrian and Marinette, his son seeks comfort and advice from Natalie. Natalie encourages Adrian to follow his heart, and he decides to take her advice and invite Marinette over for breakfast. When Gabriel sees that Adrian disobeyed him, he approaches Natalie in disbelief. He accuses her of giving Adrian a counter order as if he couldn't believe Adrian could make that choice on his own. As Natalie currently possesses Emily's wedding rings, it is possible that she also has an amok and is capable of giving Adrian orders. I just feel better with Marinette. You're clinging to Marinette because her mediocrity allows you to shine with less effort. Number 3. Gabriel Threatens Felix Due to being untrusting of his uncle, Felix learns that Gabriel is actually Hawk Moth in the episode Gabriel Aggressed. When snooping around Gabriel's atelier, Felix encounters a scent monster that Gabriel created to stand as a double for himself, and he accuses who he believes to be Gabriel of being Hawk Moth. Since Gabriel has control of the Senta monster, he is able to hear this accusation and responds accordingly. While an innocent man may have reassured his nephew that he isn't a villain, Gabriel instead threatens Felix. The exact quote from Gabriel goes, I am Gabriel Agrest, and I do indeed have every power I need to find my wife's ring, including the power to destroy your life. He then goes on to say that all he needs to do is snap his fingers to make Felix disappear. This is a very serious threat to give his nephew, and because an amok is destroyed by its holder snapping their fingers, his words add credibility to the Sentimonster theory. I need to find my wife's ring, including the power to destroy your life. I don't need to be Shadow Moth for that. Number 2. Felix betrays Ladybug to obtain the Peacock Miraculous. Although Felix isn't known to be the most trustworthy, it is still shocking when he chooses to betray Ladybug and Cat Noir in the episode Strike Back. After stealing Ladybug's yo-yo with the power of the dog Miraculous, he uses the item to give Gabriel every miraculous inside the Miracle Box. In return, he agrees to not give away his uncle's identity as the villain if he gives up the Peacock Miraculous. Since Felix had early access to nearly every other Miraculous in the Miracle Box, it's strange that he wants the Peacock Miraculous specifically. If he were a Senta Monster, however, he may wish to have the Miraculous that created him for his own safety. So far, Felix's true intentions with the Peacock Miraculous have yet to be revealed, despite the great lengths he went through to obtain it. What do you want, Felix? I want the real Peacock Miraculous and you're going to give it to me. Number 1. The Creation of Argos and His Demeanor Towards Senta Monsters When Felix returns in the fifth season's episode, Emotion, he reveals his new identity as the Peacock Miraculous's new holder. He takes on the name Argos and creates a Senta Monster that can make anyone its light touches disappear. It's interesting that Felix specifically sought out the power held by the Peacock Miraculous because he seems to find destroying Senta Monsters to be cruel. In the episode, he refers to his Senta Monster, Red Moon, as if it's a friend. When he realizes the error of his ways at the end of the episode, he also shows remorse when releasing Red Moon from existence. This emotional response towards Senta Monsters isn't something shown through Gabriel or Natalie, and it implies that there's more to Felix's personality than meets the eye. While the Senta Monster theory may be proven untrue as the series continues, it still remains one of the most popular points of speculation for fans. Gabriel's overbearing control over Adrian could be the first indicator of Adrian being a Senta Monster. 
character, and while he may not be aware of his true nature, it appears that Felix may be coming closer to revealing the truth. When I merge your miraculous together, I'll make a wish to create a better world, a free world, where no one will be under anyone's control anymore. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. <laughs> 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 Check, Lady Bug.